Welcome back, adventurers. Oh, what a lucrative journey you had last time. Mm. So I was up all night with the Compendium of Curiosities, and my goodness, were your ideas spot on. Huh? We believe that the item that you are looking for is the Axe of Thanyan Mayit. You were even right it was an axe. Even right I knew about it an axe. all along. What instincts, I must say. So what, mm -hmm. the axe of Thanyan what? Thanyan Mayit. Thanyan Mayit. Now, there's some bad news. No one has seen this axe in centuries. In fact, it is rumored that it was buried with King Senna in his tomb. Now, that tomb had been lost to record. However, a few years ago, I personally sent out an expedition to find it. Unfortunately, disaster struck and only one survivor returned. He lived long enough to mark down the location, but other than that, we have very little information about it. Your mission is to go to this tomb and see if you can find the ax and bring it back. Uh, to help you in this mission, I have my dear friend, Mumei. Hello. Greetings. Hail. Hello. Welcome, Mumei. Yes, Mumei has as much experience uh, with Kektesh tombs, such as King Senna's. Although she has not visited Senna's tomb itself, she knows much about them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are these the... Yes, these are, are your adventures. Ta-da. Hi, I'm um, Veros the Good Looking. Great. I mean noble. In case you couldn't tell. I mean warrior. Wonderful. Do you know anything about tombs? I know a lot about tombs. I, I know that they house bodies. <laughs> How about you? Hello, I am Beryl the Brutal. <laughs> All you need to know. Uh, how do you, how fare ye in tombs? <laughs> I believe in cremation. <laughs> if I really to <clears throat> break it down. Anna, what do you know about yes. it? I am Annabella. Hello. I know not much of tombs, but I look forward to learning from you and following your path. She's a suck up. <laughs> How about you? And I am Ricky Huckster at your service. I've scoured many a tomb for ingredients for my potions and concoctions. Oh, great. Yes. So you can make a good elixir. Oh, yes. Elixirs, potions, tinctures, any sort of liquid based thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pee a lot. <laughs> oh, great. You're, you're well hydrated. Yes. Okay. In, yes, in their, in their last adventure, they found some uh, gems as well as some uh, terrible plans for uh, world domination, as it seems. <laughs> uh, one thing, you brought us back uh, the jaw of a shark. Did you end up doing anything with, uh, with those teeth? Yes. We did. We <laughs> absolutely did. So we made best friend teeth necklaces. <laughs> Out of the, so I have the B, and we carved it into half a heart, and she is the F, and then we put it together. Oh, how long have you guys known each other? <laughs> long enough. When We're you go on an adventure friends. together, oh. you bond <laughs> quickly. It's like summer camp. It is. Yes, yes. very much right. so. Right, got it. What got a it. likely pair. Great. And you seem super smart. Well, you've got a knee peg. <laughs> yes, you? I think I do. Uh, okay, great. We do have a very special gift. We do like here at Relics and, and Rarities, we like to offer something mm. to our adventurers before they go. Great. Please search the room and choose any item that has a special tag on it. Special tag on it? It has a tag. You will see them. Bing. Bing. Go exploring. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> it's almost like she's a robot. Bing. Oh. Bing. What's a robot? What's a robot? <laughs> I don't a know. construct of some sort? Oh, yes, it's Whoa. very futuristic. Ooh. Potential, I don't know, I'm looking Potential. at things! Just deciding. Leaving the tag on because you know I might return it. Sure. <laughs> I'm feeling these shades, y'all. <laughs> As you put those glasses on, it does not seem to change your vision at all. <laughs> what the fuck am I wearing them for? <laughs> it could be a fashion. style. Yeah. It's just fashion. Looks fashionable. They look fantastic. But they don't do no, anything for me! They do do something for you. 
So you That's have kind of you <laughs> have dark vision. You now have superior dark vision Ooh. when wearing them. We got to peer into some real dark places, guys. <laughs> Superiorly dark places. And re regardless, it might be helpful to have that with us, mm. re regardless of who's wearing them. That's true. I can hand them off. Yes. Cool. All right, Veros, you're up if you want to do uh, something else. This is fun. Yes, I would like to choose another <laughs> item. I love this store. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. I've, I've worked so hard. The writing instrument. It shall be mine. God. So you will find that if you write with that, you can create markings that only you and your comrades can see. Ooh. Wait. That makes sense because Annabella once told me that even though swords are strong, sometimes the pen, mm -hmm. and when you have a sword mm -hmm. and you make the pen and the sword fight, mm -hmm. the pen is stronger. No, they make love, I think it is. No, is no. It, it's stronger? It's stronger. It depends on the translation, really. <laughs> 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 Beryl, your turn. You know, I feel like I've been sitting on this, Whoa. so we I never... Know. <laughs> but it <laughs> seems so like it would be nice and cozy to have on my lap. You will find that if you imagine any image, you can paint it onto that surface and it will look almost as if it is real. That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> a good choice. That's a good choice. I just thought I it was exactly a nice grandma what blanket. I want. She's like Bugs Bunny and his dog. Wanted it for quite some time. Ooh. It's a two for one deal, folks. It is a two for Ooh. one deal. Uh, so Annabella, much like the crystals that we used in the last adventure, you will find that that compass will always point towards that crystal. Oh. Okay, so we can get out of a cave way better when right. we know which way we go is one. up. Right. If you will. Or north, if you, for the people that are slower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it, Ricky. Here I go. And I'm going to drag the rocking horse over to get up on it. <laughs> yes, to climb up. Look at how little he is. Oh, <laughs> good. Hi. Yes. So, Ricky, you will find that although you cannot unlock any lock with this, you can lock any lock that is already opened behind you. Ooh, that could be useful in a tomb. <laughs> Potential. Right. Yes. Fantastic. You are all aware of these other items that you found when we get going here. You can decide who gets those new things. I had a quick yes, question before we leave. You mentioned, I hadn't heard of this religion that this tomb is based mm, off yes, of. The Do Kektesh. Any, the, the Kektesh. Kektesh. Do you the, any... Yes, the ancient Kektesh. I know all about this already, but I'm going <laughs> to let... Sure. Yes, Mumei does have some knowledge of it. Yes, I know so much about it, but go ahead. So centuries ago, this is a civilization that has, it does not exist any longer. But yes, they built tombs and they buried their dead in bombing them to, to preserve the bodies. They have a language that is, is long since died out and is out of usage, uh, but we don't know very much about them, a very mysterious ancient people. Hmm. All right, I'm satisfied. Yes, here we go. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> if you would. This is so you were at the engine. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> oh, every time. Every time. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Deborah. We're going home with the what curse did, now, did boys. I, don't touch oh, it. Don't touch it. Oh, I did it. Oh, good Flesh start to the adventure. Uh. <laughs> Touching the relics. Your hands melted off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's get going. So instead of going north like you did to Briarclough Forest into the cold, now you're heading south and it's getting hotter and hotter and you come upon a very arid desert. It's a long walk through this. You don't see any kind of living plant life, anything at all. But Mumei has been instructed where the entrance to this tomb is. Finally, you come over. She's, she's you know constantly consulting her navigation materials. You come over a rise and at the very bottom of this dune, all you see are a set of doors seemingly set into the sand. This is what you see on the doors. So it is two doors. They are heavy stone slabs. As you push on them and, and try to get them to move, they won't even budge a centimeter. They're images of, of two women standing facing each other. And then these other images, so these squares uh, look as though they can be depressed. And someone has carved at a later date these images upon those buttons. I think you need a key. I do. This locks things, though. It does not open. Um, yes. It locks things. I can read some Kektesh, but yes. I don't see any thing here that I can read. You do not recognize these as Kektesh symbols, no. Can you search for traps? I want to investigate. Let's investigate them. Great. <laughs> Roll a d20 and add your investigation bonus. 
One. How does this keep happening? <laughs> Plus my investigation. I mean, yeah. <laughs> which is not a helping. If it says nothing, then it's just the flat, it's whatever just, your yeah, intelligence it's is. It's like literally my just, it's a zero. Yes. Yeah, so um, unfortunately with, with that investigation, you look all over it, but it, it's just not making any sense to you at all. Well, okay. If I'm drawing on my knowledge of, let's say, alchemical symbols, uh, the, uh, uh, the old symbols would draw on the four elements, and these look like they could be related in some way. For instance, this one up here looks like it could be analogous to that one over there. The line is just moving up and down that, that M. And then these two as well look like they could be related in some way. Yes. I'm gonna try pushing this one that looks like a flower. All right, so he steps, he pushes it in, and as he takes his hand away, it pops back out, right back to the space where it started. So do we think that this, there's an order to these, like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? That would make the most sense. So... What if, and I want to try to push these two at the same time. Okay. And this little gnome comes up <laughs> and his whole body weight just pushes it in, and as he pulls back, they both come back out. Now what if we double fist a few and then we push them all at the same yeah, time. Yes, I mean, I think we could try to move them all at the same time mm -hmm. and see what happens. Let's yeah, you, all... you have 10 hands between you. I mean, yes. yeah, we can get them all. So uh, it's 10 versus seven. I mean, I think the math's right. <laughs> uh, there is, come here. What? I'm gonna climb on your shoulder. I love it, my brother. <laughs> you can get the bottom too. Oh, that too. <laughs> it's more fun to do the top. Sure, sure, sure. Let's go. Look at him up there. We can, I right. can handle this one. You're gonna handle that one. Wow, have okay. you ever been so high before? No. <laughs> Only the last time I was on his shoulders. <laughs> Enjoying the view, brother. <laughs> Every time. One, two, three. Dum. They all push in as you come away, they come back out. No! Great, so there has to be an order then. Yeah. So what do we think is one through, I mean, we could say that those are sixes and those are eights if we wanted to. Uh, I see, if you're looking at it as, as, as though it's an hour script. And then those could be fours. This could be three. And that's a one. They're, okay, so they're, these There's are no mirror. mirror images. So, this is a one. <gasps> this is a three. This is a six. This is an eight. This is a five. That's a four. <gasps> that's a seven. That's a two. You're a genius. <laughs> so. Look at the rogue. How right. did you do that? So, I'm going to push uh -huh. them in an order. I'm uh -huh. going to go one, two. You push the first one in, it stays pushed Great. in. Two. Stays in. Three. It stays in. Four. Stays. Five. Stays. Six. Stays. Seven. Stays. Eight. Stays. At this point, you hear like a slab of stone fall somewhere else inside, and there's almost like a sound of a wheel or something up at the top, and they slowly open towards you. Look at that. <laughs> You've earned your keep already. <laughs> Enter slowly. Who has the best vision? How's your vision? Not great in the dark. Great, so I'm gonna give you these because I'm doing well already with my dark vision. Thank you. And that'll help you. Before I enter, yes. I would like to bury this crystal so okay. I know how to get out. Fantastic. Let's do oh. it on the inside oh, okay. of the tomb door okay. and we can lock it behind us. Oh, yes. What a <laughs> fantastic idea. Oh. <laughs> great. Can you come with us all the time? <laughs> so I'm gonna peer in okay. since I have spectacular dark vision. You have pretty good dark vision. And I'd like to see. Yeah, you look inside. through. This seems to be a pretty like rough hewn passage. There's nothing very decorative about it. The walls are just kind of stone that's been just 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 made into shape, not really finished in any way. However, you do notice that there are basins not unlike this that sort of rest in the wall. And then there are sort of little, little channels along the wall that go all the way down. Your dark vision, 60 feet. 60 feet. You can see just at 60 feet, you see the beginning of a little set of stairs that goes up. Well, we gotta check for traps. Sure, <laughs> is it okay for us to enter? I don't know yet. Let's oh. check if there's any traps in this little anteroom hallway. Do you wanna check? I would like to. Are? Yes, okay, make an investigation check. Investigation, wish us luck. 15! Very nice. Plus, my investigation is nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so looking in this in this first sort of section of hallway, probably like the first like 30 feet, you kind of like, you know, like brush the dust back to try to see if there's anything. And and this all looks safe to you, this like first 30 feet of, of floor. Great. Let's move in 30 feet. And 
You guys are looking at me like too hard right now. You, you can make decisions. <laughs> I'll go right behind you just to help in the Great. front because you can see better. I think you should flank the back because of your night vision. Mm. And then we'll get these two lovelies in the middle. How's that sound? I think that's a great idea. Is it a good time let's now to bury this? Yes, let's bury that. Okay. Okay. Now, so she even has, you have little have extra tools well. and things yes, like that. Yes, I do. That. So Ooh. I have some trowels and yeah. small pickaxe and little and I'm gonna, we can put it in together. Perfect. We can just put some. All right, so you've buried, <laughs> <perfect>. <laughs> you've buried the crystal just inside of those front doors. Great, and do you wanna lock it? Yes, if I'm looking at the uh -huh. mechanism, uh -huh. the doors are still open, the right? The doors are still open. Are there any sort of levers or anything? There are, you can see what must have been like vines or something at one point that has been braided and kind of into each other and they create something of a rope that seems to go kind of up into the ceiling and out of sight. Oh, okay. I will try pulling on it. And see <laughs> what happens. So it's up high. You're gonna uh -huh. jump on Piros's shoulders. Oh, oh I guess. it's not coming down to the ground. No, it, it's attached to like the top of the doors, and then it kind of goes back into the ceiling and around. I see. So there's oh, no oh. mechanism. <laughs> not at your level, no. All right. All right. Here I go. Come on. <laughs> up with you. Scamper up the back on his shoulders, and you're gonna pull on it. Yeah. As soon as you put a little bit of tension on it, you actually feel like it takes it from you, and you pull your hands back, and the doors begin to close. Okay. On their own. Well. Oh. At this point, it goes pitch black. So you well, cannot see anything. If you I wear can. your glasses, I'm on, I'm you can glasses. see 60 feet. Great. I'm going to need my hands free because I'm good at climbing. Do you want to hold that? Sure. Great. Don't touch anything until you really look carefully at these business. Got it. Uh, one more thing before we go, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tap this key mm -hmm. on the stone doors. On the stone doors? Oh, okay. cool. I don't know if I did anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't hear anything change or right. anything like that, but you tapped it. You're sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Cool. So you, you are in kind of this first like 30 feet of this passageway. There's another 30 feet and now as you get closer to there you can see that this set of stairs goes kind of up into what would have been the dune above the door. Great. And shall we look at these? On the walls? On the walls. On the walls. Do they contain anything inside of them? Yeah, you come over and, and you look inside them and I mean, you've got a torch going, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. there's something. You see oil. And you think it kind of flows out into these channels in the walls oh. that go all Should the way down. Should we set that oh, shit on fire? Let's yeah. light it. Yeah. Light it. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a chain reaction. It's, light it it's, up. It's safe enough. <laughs> well, it's not a chain reaction. It's an how do oil we do a reaction. safety check? It's an oil check. reaction. Very good. Yeah. Check. Right. Um, I mean, perception. So. How, how do I perceive if it's safe? <laughs> you can do a perception well, check to see yeah. if, if you can guess kind no, of how No, I'm sure it's safe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Beryl did it. Here it goes. Beryl takes her torch and she sticks it in the basin closest to her. It <laughs> lights up and then, yes, it seems to <sighs> shoot down the sides of the channel and all the way down, see? lighting up the rest of the corridor on and beyond. You even see some of the light come up in the stairwell. I'm just trying to keep you safe. All along that left side. Ooh. Okay. I want to save the torch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll dip it in oil after the fact. Yeah, just great idea. Flammable, okay. So thank you. Great. Um, let's go up to these stairs and, and see if we can uh, how far we can see up, shall we? Mm -hmm. yes. Great. All right. <laughs> so as you walk up to the stairs and you take a step just in the <gasps> 10 feet before the stairs, it opens up and you make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh. I do. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you were so careful on yeah. that first 30 feet. I just thought I could see shit. <laughs> okay. Roll your dexterity saving throw to see if you can land well. Ooh. 18! Oh, nice. So you will take half of this damage cool. instead oh. of all of it. All right, as you so fall. I'm stressed out. I've been playing for You're going to take minutes. seven bludgeoning damage. Well, half of that, you'll take four bludgeoning damage from falling down and hitting the sides. You are also going to take some piercing damage, though. Oh, yeah, just these. You will take another four piercing damage from these spikes as they just graze you, but you're able to keep from fully falling on them and having them impale you. You get off to the side a little bit, so you take a little bit of a knocking, but you are not impaled. Started so strong. You're now strong. at the bottom mm -hmm. of a 20-foot pit. You got some rope, right, homie? Never fear. Yes. I, I would like to ready my rope. I've got 50 okay. feet of rope. Great. And I'd like to pull down. Can you hear me? Yes! Can you see me? No! All right. <laughs> I'm going to follow your voice. I'm gonna try and maneuver I, I'm myself. In, I'm in the pit. Right. My guess is to the closest edge, to where you can I'm see at. Her. <laughs> so I go to the edge. You I can, can see her. her. You can, can hear down. Her. You can see her. There's enough kind There's of enough little bit of light that'll get so, down to her. Hello, it's me. How are you? <laughs> Not great. Okay. I'm gonna throw my rope down. Mm -hmm. Great. Get ready. So I throw okay. it down. Okay, holding the other end. Yeah, I've got it. She, yeah. Okay, great. So I'm pulling. Get ready. Are so you going to help him by, you know, some yeah. way? Well, I don't need you to. Just hold it. Hold it. Hold me. Okay, just hold. Holding steady. 
So you're going to climb up. Fantastic. Good gravy so on potatoes. You can make an athletics check, but do it with advantage because you have a tool. And you've got me holding it. You do. Right? If that's not an advantage. Six. Is the higher. Mm -hmm. Six plus, what's your athletics? Plus two, eight. So eight, and your what's your strength modifier as you help try to pull her up? Plus three. Plus three, so that's an 11. So we slowly. Yeah. But I 11. have a roll, can I roll? No. Um, yeah, okay, see it's... if you wanna actually, so so we're gonna say on this one, so you're pulling, she's trying to climb a plane. Yeah. It's just, you can barely make a couple of feet. You're gonna try and do one big jolt. One big pull, just... Go for it, give her a strength, a strength. Uh... Oh, it's an 11 plus three, so. So a 14. 14. And I'm a, I'm a, got some gymnastics. Okay, so. you wanna add your acrobatics? Yeah. What's your, what's your acrobatics? It's plus point? seven. Plus seven, fantastic. Oh, yeah. So yeah. with all of that, she gives a kick, which makes her a little bit lighter, and yeah. you give a good pull, Pugh. and you almost, she like comes flying out the top, it goes so well. Whoa! And I say, uh, sorry guys. Well, <laughs> you looked cool at the end. Thanks. Yeah. Um, you even land in that like perfect, like one yeah, leg yeah, yeah. up, one knee down yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, that all superheroes do. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the only do. way that you can land. Because that's the safest way to land. Yeah. 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 With your kneecap. It's great right. for your patella. <laughs> it's going great. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. So now is there a hole and then there are steps? There is a hole. So the hole is the full width of this hallway, which is five feet wide, and it is 10 feet Long, it goes right to the bottom of those stairs. So we gotta figure out how to cross this thing to get up those steps. Well, this is easy. <laughs> uh, this isn't a problem for me. I'm gonna take my javelins uh -huh. and uh, just lodge them into the wall on the side and then okay. just walk across. Okay. Whoa. So you lodge so. the first one deep yeah. and then step on it and lodge yeah. the second one, like yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. All right. And just walk um, across. And then pull the one behind you and put it in the The floor. stones in the water oh, yeah. are old, so it's actually not very hard to do. You're able yeah. to just use, you know, kind of using your strength and pushing a little bit, you get that one in, mm -hmm. and you stand it out. It's, it's a round thing, so you may need to do some balance Right. Balance checks grip on this. Version, just like, yeah. You know, oh, oh, that way. Just keep yeah. pegging it, pegging it, pegging it, yeah. pegging it over. So describe to me what you're doing then. So yeah, I'm gonna pull from my pack my mm -hmm. four javelins. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> see that the wall is a little crumbly. Mm -hmm. Take it and be like, I got this. And just slam it Boom. in and then kind of like swing down to it and then grabbing the other one from my pack, slam it in after that one <laughs> and then try to get myself across. Okay. Yeah. I think you can do an athletics on that. You okay. can train in that. Okay. It's like the monkey bars. Yeah. <laughs> so. All those years you spent training on the monkey bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, or. <laughs> <laughs> or, what's great is I'm great at athletics. <laughs> yeah. I have like a plus seven, but I rolled a one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no. uh, so unfortunately, as you go to reach the next one, too, something I'm about too it, heavy. this one doesn't, it didn't lodge in quite enough as you got it, and as you let go, it starts to fall out mm -hmm. of the space. You can make a dexterity saving throw to try to grab something. Okay. How far along has she gotten, like, in relationship? I'd say she's five feet. Yeah. She's about halfway you know through the pit. I'm not going to make a not dexterity make saving throw. Instead, I'm gonna wiggle my nose. I'm gonna float down with my feather fall. Woo! Oh, that's right, the nose ring. So she starts to fall, she takes kind of a <gasps> and then suddenly it all slows down mm -hmm. and she as, floats beautifully. As she's floating, yes. I see all of this happening and I'm like, oh no. And so I reach in and I grab the, the vial of silvery liquid uh -huh. and I just down it real quick uh -huh. and blow a gust of wind <gasps> at her. And I float to the other side. She flies, yeah. floating. Yeah, as she's sort of slowly floating down, you blow her. Wombo yeah. She lands gently on the steps on the other side like a fairy. So wow. for fairness, this was a potion that I found, not one of my stores. Gotcha. Yeah. This is his fancy bottled breath. Mm. Bottled breath. All right, wow. now it's time for everyone it's still else. still going? You have it for <laughs> a minute? So he's, do we all? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Once we've I, got Somebody's on that side. Oh, well, we throw got, rope. got the big yeah. gal. Yep. All right. <laughs> well, why don't we throw some ropes over to the other side? Yeah. <laughs> so I toss rope. I throw my rope over. <laughs> I'll okay. to enhance it, Carl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, the, in the wave of, of yeah. wind, it does. It flies over to you, and you catch it. Yeah. yeah. So All right. So I will tie one. Oh gosh. We should have two, so that way people can stabilize. I have We've yeah, two ropes. perfect. There it goes. Blow this over, right? So I'll, we'll, you and I will hold one. <laughs> Great. And then we'll string the other one across our ankles, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't love that. Are we doing this? Maybe just hold it really thing? tightly, you know? Yeah. That way you can yeah. step across. Well, listen, I mean, honestly, we're the two weightiest, so it makes sense. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we, could, we could hold it with our hands. And that then all of too. us are going to have to bring you over. Right, but with mm -hmm. all of you and her, I mean, confidence mm -hmm. is through the Should be uh, fine. perceived ceiling. 
Okay. Let's do it. Will you feel it? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm so, strong enough. So the oh, way, yeah. way, so I have this right. <laughs> the way this is set up is that you, you both are holding one at, on the top, and mm -hmm. then you've tied the other one around your ankle. Not I. I'm just holding the. You're one just side. holding the one. I'm just holding. You're not doing a double rope. You're doing a single rope. <laughs> we should, we've sent over another rope. Yeah, we've, we've sent, sent over, over a second rope. Yes, yeah. we could do this. That was yes. the idea. Yes. She wanted to do a high <laughs> one and a low. And a low. <laughs> yeah. So we're holding up here, and our legs are going right. That's what's happening <laughs> for, the, for the anchors. <laughs> I'm imagining the anchors have, are holding the top one and have tied <laughs> the bottom one around their ankle. I don't think that's a good idea. I think, I think, that's what was suggested. I've got Smith's tools and things like that. I think uh -huh. I should just spike the bottom like hard okay. into, the, into the ground. Okay. So then it's not going to mm. make sure it's really secure. I'll even stand on the... And just, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh. So I bash mm -hmm. that one into the ground. So yours is, yes, is, is into the ground and it, it, it does seem to be holding it well. Seems... And you're going to stand on it on top. Yeah, stand on mm -hmm. top of it. On your end, what do you want to do with the bottom rope? I guess I'll use another javelin okay. and like tie it around it and then use the flat side of my great axe to use a hammer Okay. <laughs> and try to hammer it. So you're hammering your javelin into the ground with the, to, as a piton. It's piton. basically a large version of what he's right. doing. I've got a small one, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, so that's all set up and you've yeah. tied some knots and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, who wants to go first? Annabella. I'm it's holding secure, it. come across. Annabella. You, again, you're holding Vicky. the top one between the two of you. Okay. Here we go. You're not going anywhere. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. shimmy. I begin to begin shimmy. Going across. I'm right. going to watch on standby. It's a beautiful if, heart play. If anybody falls, I'm going to blow. blow to get them away from the spike. So gotcha. it might damage them against the wall, but at least they won't Gotcha, the gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> spikes? Below. Below, but honey, oh, I'm not going God, anywhere except the crowd. Don't look down. Don't look down. Okay. Don't look down. So <laughs> you can choose either an acrobatics or an, or an athletics, depending on whether you want to muscle across or kind of use your balance. And you can do it with advantage. Okay, I'm going to go acrobatics. Okay. And you have advantage? You have advantage because mm -hmm. you're using the ropes. Mm hmm. 10 is the highest. 10 is the high so one. Plus, your plus five, so All right. 15. So you're able to do it, and, and you definitely, you kind of get on your toes mm -hmm. and, and, and walk pretty gently, you know, kind of trying to balance your weight. And just as you get to the other side, you do this little kind of leap, and you end up on the stairs, all safe and sound. Great. Who wants to go next between the two? I'll ones? go. Okay. <laughs> you can go if you'd like. Sure. Great. All right. <laughs> Bring the other, oh wait, it's not like this, it's, it's two ropes. Mm -hmm. Can you right. reach the top one? I can't. No, there's a, there's a low and a high. I can't reach. You can't reach the high, all right, so. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna shimmy along the bottom On one. the bottom one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think that would probably be an acrobatics. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. Shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> 10. 10 plus anything? That's it. That's it's it. Nine plus one. Nine plus one, all right. So he, he comes to the edge, his little legs, hanging over the head of the thing. He holds on the rope and he swings <laughs> down like this upside down, gets his legs hooked around the side, one ankle over the other, and starts to move himself a little bit across. Was what? it with advantage? It was with advantage. Cool, Roll but again. that still happened. That still happened. <laughs> He's in that position. Okay, 15. Fantastic. As he pulls himself across, there's a little wobble in there while he thinks he's gonna fall. But he's able to keep going hand over hand and get to the other side. He holds out a little gnome hand for some help. I reach down to him. Thank you. Point pulled up. And say, my, 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 somebody really has been working out. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Quit your belly aching. <laughs> Mume. Great. So I'm going to do the same thing. I have plus seven acrobatics. Okay, you're going to do an acrobatic walk across. Sure, here we go. Yeah, ready? With advantage. 19! Oh, Don't even need to roll yeah. it. Can't get much better than I'm that. I'm just going to tightrope walk this shit. Ooh! Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, mm, Ooh. watch. So I sort of like have my fingers just like, this is the rope right here. <laughs> and I'm like, la, 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 la. <laughs> Showing off. Just sort of like, just trying to like, get a little bit of favor back after yeah. almost dying in a yeah. pit of <laughs> spikes like an idiot. So I'm like, no guys, I really got this. La, 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 la. And everybody's super impressed. Uh -huh. And then I make it to the other side. All right. <laughs> Stepping off gracefully and beautifully. Viros, you're the only one left. I am. Now there's two ways we can do this. I mean, mm. I could really impress you all because I'm extremely athletic. I mean, I've got extremely high advantage on athletics. Mm -hmm. So a long jump for 10 feet is basically like one mm. large step for me. And I'm going to do it over the rope. So in the event that I stumble or maybe don't get the best lift off, I'm right at the rope, you see. Cool. I am highly, what? Intelligent. <laughs> there we are, okay. 
Did you so, say that? Word? Word? Say that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just Somebody trying to teach did. them the ways of zeros. <laughs> anyway, so I back up really, really far because uh-huh. I, I, you know, in the land of where I go at Azure Haven, we've got athletics, you know, challenges all the time. We do this every day. <sighs> Nothing. Feast your eyes and everything. And uh, so it's a two plus six. <laughs> so I've got an eight. I'm, I've got a lot of gear, yeah. you see. Yeah. That's, so that's the difference. If actually, I was naked, it would be like fly. I mean, it would be like fantastic. <laughs> it's actually your lucky day. Why? And when you jump, having taken at least a 10 foot run, you can jump your strength score in feet, so 16. Oh, my strength score in feet, which is 16. So you just run back up and take a leap, and it's like, it's like all muscle and power, and you just fly across over this thing wow. and land on the steps. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. You all sold it. <laughs> Why okay, didn't you do make... that from the beginning? <laughs> I needed to make sure you. You all watched got me across. try to walk across. No, no, no. I wanted to make sure you were all safe. Okay, got it. Cool. Okay, so you're now at the bottom of these stairs. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the first stairs. The first stairs. <laughs> the first stairs. Um, stairs. Kings at least we got through the door fast, but yeah. we're still only at the stairs. But <laughs> teamwork. Teamwork. Yay. Teamwork. Yay. So these stairs continue up only about 30 feet, and then you see them flatten out into a room, which has been lit up. And at this point, you notice that the light on the other side, the fire has now seemed to have traveled all the way through the tomb and completely filled everything up and is now coming down the other side, the right side of this corridor. Oh, wow. Filling up the entire space with So light. we can see well in this tomb, mm-hmm. y'all. At mm-hmm. least until we get to a door. Okay. I don't know. Wait, do you so think what we do we see? Can we uh, there's a 30 stairs? foot, 30 foot stairs it. that opens up into a room that you can see there's, ah. there's light. I'm gonna try my best to look at these stairs. Okay, make an investigation check. Um, which is a 20. Oh! oh! Nice, went from a one to a 20. I yeah. That's good. So you don't see anything particularly dangerous about the steps. I, I will say that, um, again, like sand and dust everywhere. This has not been disturbed in a very long time. This definitely feels like yours are the first footprints in years, if not centuries. Whoa. Oh my. I'm gonna ascend, guys. You wanna follow me? Yes. Yeah. Cool, let's do this. I got you back. So you climb up the steps, and each time as you're going along, you're checking each step as Mm -hmm. you go to make sure that it's safe. And as you get up to the top, you enter into what is one of the most beautifully decorated tombs you have ever seen, even Mm. in your explorations through Kektesh tombs. There's beautiful imagery and artwork on the walls that are gilded with what looks like literal, like, gold leaf. There are inscriptions on the walls in Kektesh. Can I see them? You can see them. You want to look at one? Yes. You may look at that one. Oh, thank you. I'm going to try to translate this for us right now. Okay. I've learned just a little bit of Kektesh, and I'm gonna work on it. Wow. Don't steal anything. What? Yet. Yet. Uh, Yet. (laughs) (laughs) To make sure we're safe. The big feature of this room is right in the center is a very large sarcophagus. It has the image of a man on it. It is, again, covered in gold and tinted, beautiful, vibrant paint colors. There's a stone case in the corner and two vases on pedestals that sort of flank this sarcophagus. You also do see another door, another sort of big stone slab door, but this one doesn't seem to be stuck. It doesn't have any numbers or anything, any, any buttons on it. It is a picture of a man and a woman embracing on this door. Hmm. I go look at the vases. Okay. Actually, um, Beryl, mm. you said that you uh, are familiar with cremation. Do these vases look like something that you would keep ashes in? Want to make an intelligence? Show? Yes, I'd love to. Be like a history. Yeah, let's see. Do you have any? I got a six. <laughs> Flat I'd like, six. I'd like to look at it as well. Let's say you lend, you guys talk it out. So what's your history bonus? It's a plus two. It's a plus two. So, so six, so that's eight. an eight. Yeah. So with your combined knowledge of eight coming together, I mean, these are open vases. You don't uh-huh. think you would keep Yeah, yeah, I, re- I look at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's empty, so. <laughs> <laughs> but one wouldn't put ashes in it. Don't drink it. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, who puts ashes in an open vase? Yeah, okay. They'll just fly everywhere. Or maybe if you have a cat, your cat could maybe do something to them. <laughs> Once cat. again, you're all right. <laughs> Always correct. Always correct. Always right. <laughs> I want to check for footprints. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah. As dusty as they can be. Like an be. investigation of the floor. I, I'm checking floor. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. A 10 plus 8, so 18. 18. You go around and start to to search for footprints. You do feel like 
There are some in here that might be years old, and the only reason why you can still see them is because there hasn't been another breath in here since then. That nothing has moved since someone stepped there potentially years someone ago. Someone human. They do, they actually, they look like, like humanoid boots. Okay. Hmm. And I'd like to investigate the sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. uh, leaning on my knowledge from the last tomb, I want to check underneath it. Ah, and see okay. See at the at the base. At the base. Yes. Go ahead. So I'm a plus three. If you'd like to roll Fantastic. my investigation, let's do it. I roll really well for you. That's why I always have to do it. <laughs> I roll really well for you. You look around the base of it, and unlike your previous tomb experience, this does seem to be a separate piece. This does, it doesn't seem to be attached to the ground in any way. Beyond that, you don't see anything particularly interesting about it. And it looks like they are definitely two pieces, like a top and a yes, bottom. Yes, a top and a bottom, for sure. You can see a separation along the center. I knock on it. <laughs> Barrel. What? Um, you do that, it sounds kind of like a hollow sound. You would have expected something a little, you know, a little thicker. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> well, right, you expect someone to be like, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> it worked out well. Help me with the lid. Oh, should, should, should we lift it? Yes. Right, let's go. Perhaps. Mm, I would. It's <laughs> empty. Maybe. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Maybe. There could be a scorpion in there. Oh, and Ricky checked it. It's fine. Uh oh, it's on me then. <laughs> All right, so you two, I think together, no problem. Yeah. You guys are able to, to sort of lift the side and it's very heavy, but it falls off to the side. It's a workout. As yeah. you look into it, it is very dark. There is a ladder that goes straight down into the earth. You. The sarcophagus. I told you it sounded really empty. Yes. I have this inscription done. Oh. And I have it. almost an entire alphabet. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. would you like to know what it says? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Secrets hide within plain sight. Those who are bold shall profit. Uh-oh, Ricky. What? I, I, I'm bold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna climb down that ladder. Wait, can we look oh, down no. at first? Bye. See you down the ladder. Bye. See you later. Keep no, going. maybe we should no. illuminate. No, 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 no. I'm gonna no. say it again. Uh, uh, have you gone down already? Yeah, yeah okay. he's going. Great. Well, I'm gonna oh. read it to everybody else while he goes oh, down. God. Secrets hide within plain sight. You buried the lead. <laughs> oh no, that's it. That's right. That's right. Those who are bold shall profit. So let's look around. I guess. So you're going down, you guys staying what up top, or are you case? following him? The yeah, you case. haven't looked at the case? I would like Why to, I would like to investigate it. <laughs> so you're down, and one thing you do notice as you're going down is that this, this lighting setup that you, you did, it didn't extend to down here. Okay, oh, this is lower level. So you are just, you're dark visions, you're descending into darkness. Okay. Before I go down this ladder, I'd like to look around and see if there's any inscriptions or anything else that I'm not seeing. You can do a, do a, I'm just, perception, just I, yeah, to, like just anything you're missing. I'd yeah, like to look really check. closely. Yeah. It, like to really look at the room. You're just gonna kind of like scan the room and try to feel if there's anything out of place yeah, I'm or anything for you're missing. Secrets that are hiding within plain sight. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Go ahead and make a perception. Check. <laughs> to be clear, I'm so surprised. <laughs> 18. And 18. 18. Plus your perception. Plus uh -huh. my perception, which is. Under wisdom. Under wisdom, which is an 8. An 8? Oh, very nice. Wow. Yeah, 26. 26. So you sort of sit there and you're just kind of trying to, trying to take in and feel like, does this feel like other tombs I've been in? Like, I'm trying to get a sense of that. And your attention is drawn to this door that has the picture of the man and the woman on it. And you kind of start to look up and you're like, this door is too easy. I do feel like if we were to push on this door, Something bad. Something bad might happen. Okay, and uh, is there, can I look at this door? Is there? Yeah, if you want to make an investigation on the door now, you can kind of try to get the nature of what you're yes. feeling. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Nati! Hey! Uh, so you my... go over and as you look up, you can see there's a thin sort of channel above the door and you can see some glittering metal up in there. And you're pretty mm. sure that if you put pressure on that door, something might fall mm. uh -huh. and try to hurt you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, do you want to just get out of the way and do, or do we have like a, can we throw a bowling ball at it? A bowling ball? <laughs> bowling ball. Is that in your, is that in your gear? Boulders You're in carrying the bowling balls around. I'd have thrown Rick's one, but he's no... not the size of a bowling ball, but he's yeah. already went down into the dog he's hole. He's down Ricky's in the dark. down in the hole. He's in the hole right now. But we should focus on that. But when we come up, back up and we look at that door, we should f try to find a way to. You could probably I just mean, I, I can get out of the way pretty really fast. really long stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get a really long stick if we could find one, but I'm also pretty capable. Oh, I mean, capable. I have a great axe. It's a pretty long stick. That's a good point. And your, 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 your uh, javelins, javelins yeah. and things are probably. Oh, yeah, great. I'm I'd like, like an to open the case. Really you want to go open the stone case? Yeah. 
All right, so he, we're continuing to descend up. into the darkness down below. One no floor. one has followed. It's only, it's can like a 60 foot ladder. He can see in the dark. Oh, great, great, okay. It's like a 60 foot ladder. This is a deep, deep, deep descent. I okay. feel like there's something gnarly down there. <laughs> I get yeah. about, Otherwise, I'd be hasty to go down. But. Yeah, I get about like 30 feet down. Uh -huh. And then I you notice like, no one's coming. No one's coming, and I'm like, you can do this, Ricky. You can do this, Ricky. And I pull out the tablets for seasickness. Yes. And I just pop one in my mouth. Just for, pop one. For so you have advantage on constitution saving throws? <laughs> And then I come back up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing back up, out of the darkness, yeah. into the light. Yeah. Oh, thanks for joining us again. But I'll profit <laughs> later. <laughs> you want to look at the case? I would like to. Okay, I'll walk over there with you and, right, and look so at things. All right, so go look at the case? All right. Yeah. You just want to look at it or you want to do something? I'd like to mess with it, open it. Before All right, he opens it. Ugh. He reaches forward. <laughs> <laughs> and you pull, heave the top, which is also kind of kind of heavy, but mm. it does, it scrapes open. And as it thunks to the side, you look in and there are four jars in there. And each of them has a different head on them. One of them is the head of a jackal, an eagle, a cat, and an alligator. Look, a jackal head. You don't <laughs> see that every day. So can I pick them up? You can pick them up. Oh, I'd I'd like jackal, to eagle, cat. Oh, and an alligator. So I take oh, them out, okay. one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and I set one them, I maybe set them give one to Beryl just to help me because I've got my hands uh -huh, full. So uh -huh. like, can you hold this? You said, right, they're not very heavy yeah, they're, and they're, they're not very big. Okay. Yeah. So I say, look, I mean, these are clues and they were well, practically in plain sight, so, you know, puzzle pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pop it open. You pop one open? Smell, um, don't breathe in. No. Okay. <laughs> Too late. I smelled. You pop open. You breathe it in. It is. It is empty. Okay. You don't actually see anything in it. But mm. when you when you smell, it does smell sort of fragrant and perfumed, like it was maybe mm. prepared for something. There's there's very again very kind of like a frankincensey myrrh kind of <laughs> to call <laughs> that. Oh my God. Maybe we're gonna find a body and we have to dismember it and then put it in the little jars. This is this something you do often? Wow. <laughs> Sometimes. You, you want to make that. a history check to see if you know about sure, that? Sure. Let's advantage? see. Yes, please. Thank you. Your history bonus. Ten with history. Uh, plus three. Plus three, okay. You know these to be canopic jars, that during the embalming process that organs are removed from the bodies. This is what I'm saying, it and didn't then, just disappear. We're probably gonna have to get some organs, harvest them, and then put them in these. The jars. different okay. organs get placed in different jars. Now you don't remember which is which, but that is how that works. Okay. Um, Sorry, I can't remember, guys. <laughs> no, it's um, fine. I'd like to open the jackal. One. You open up the jackal. No. This is also empty, and it also still has this fragrant smell, like it's been prepared for something. Okay. What were the jackal, eagle, jackal, alligator, alligator, and cat? cat. And cat. cat. Jackal. Now, I, I'm no expert, but I would assume that these have to do with the sarcophagus, and so they should probably stick together, or should we take these with us? Probably. I think we should keep these. Could I fit one or two in my explosive? Yeah, pack? I mean, you guys can fit some in your okay, pack. Okay, so everybody's gonna split them up and kind of hold yeah, on so to them. So I hold on to two. Which you've ones? Got two. Which ones are you gonna take? I'm gonna hold on to the jackal and the. What was the one you opened? The. Oh, the eagle, I think. I'm gonna hold on to the ones you've opened. Okay. Okay. And so you've got the jackal, jackal and the eagle. eagle, and then one of you wants to take the cat and the alligator. Well, should we open the rest of them just to make sure that they are similar I to would. the others? I mm would. Mm-hmm. I pop open the cat. You pop open the cat, <laughs> also empty. All right. Cool. And then pop open the alligator. Oh, it's it, okay. You pop it open, out flies a beetle. <gasps> <gasps> a little scarab beetle. Look at that. Uh, but it goes and it sort of settles near you and sort of scribbles around. You see that it actually like digs under the sand into oh. the earth. Otherwise, oh. it is empty. <laughs> Otherwise, it's empty. Did huh. that, did Ricky that was scarab afraid of a bug make a, what a symbol loser. or anything on the ground? It did not make a symbol. No. But it did dig. It dig. It dug underneath into the sort of sand that is the How the deep floor. does it go, do you think, guys? I have a pickaxe. Do you want to try it? <laughs> I mean, it's just a beetle. Beetles hack dig. The sand. <laughs> yeah, but it was pretty fast. What if we've unleashed some horrible magic <laughs> and now it's after us? I'm pretty sure you just yeah. unleashed a bug. Yeah, I do a bardic inspiration for myself because okay. I am un I'm I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> just sitting in the corner, and be like, "You're great. You're amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. You're affirmation. Good. Affirmation. It's just affirmation. A bug. affirmation. <laughs> You're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were strong. You were independent. Yes. <laughs> so I've got my bardic points. Okay. 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 Feeling good. <laughs> I'll put the stopper back on the alligator. Stopper back in. As you do that and you sort of move it around, you do see there's a little hole in the bottom of this jar. Oh, I want to alligator. examine that. So, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you push it over and take a look at it. It does look like it's been bored. Like whatever that scarab, it was able to sort of dig through the bottom of that Wait, jar. Uh, where did this come from? 
that that case, right? Yeah. I want to go over and examine mm -hmm. the bottom of the case. You go look in the case. The case is stone, uh -huh. so that does not seem to have any holes in it, but you do see a number of other scarabs sort of walking around on the bottom of it. that case. I hate it. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine. What do you see? Uh, there's, there are a lot of the We're bugs. in a tomb full of deadly traps. You almost took a spike to your ass, and you're worried about a bug. You're worried about bugs right now. So these beetles could have Where are your clawed through the clay, is what you're saying. That's what it appears, yes. Right, so these beetles can eat through bored the clay. Through the, clay. The, the thing that terrifies me is that these jars allegedly contained organs at one point, and now there's just beetles. Yeah, they might have eaten them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, no, because smell them. Yeah, they smell fragrant. They're just ready. Yeah, that They're doesn't ready smell to... like dead person. Listen, Do I know what good? a dead person smells like, and that's not what a dead person smells like. You, a, you make a great point. I've never smelled a beetle. So. These were never used. Okay. I feel like we either need to go down the scary ladder <laughs> or throw something at the door and let the trap go so we can get past. Yeah, yeah I'm which, done which talking about Which one do you guys want to do? Ladder. 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 Okay. Oh, I vote door. Glasses are on. I'm going to I'm going to look oh. down this hole uh, mm -hmm. with my great vision, dark vision, <laughs> mm -hmm. and see whatever I can see. Trapses again. Trap traps. Traps. Investigate investigating for trapsies. I'm trapses. The trapses. Trapses. It's a 19. It's a 19. You don't see any traps. Keep going then. Well, we follow. Is anyone following? She's 30 feet down. I'll follow. I'm going. I'm right. just going to okay. step into the sarcophagus and wiggle my nose and float down. Okay. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So, so as you're climbing down and testing things, she's just doo -doo 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 -doo, sort of floating. To so to fall. clarify that, she has a ring yes. of feather fall. Yes. In yeah. her. So she is a magic item yeah. that allows That's her to. Very well. I just go yeah. down the ladder. You're going down the ladder. Yes, I'm like, you're climbing come on down. You're okay. after. I come down come like down Mary you're, Poppins. You're looking. <laughs> you can't see after you kind of get down into this dark area. Right. Don't leave me with the beetles. You know. <laughs> your last coming in at the top and climbing down. I, I hold my blanket over my head so it's like a little parachute. <laughs> Do you, you make it look like anything? Descent. Yeah, yeah. I make it look pink and frilly and I kick my legs back and forth <laughs> as I come down. Sort of slide down. It's mm -hmm. all very pleasant and beautiful as you wiggle your nose. Yeah. <laughs> you land on the ground shortly after Mume puts her feet down on the ground and it's a very dark, cold little chamber that you've come into and it does appear that it kind of curves around to the right. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm just gonna keep looking. You also mm -hmm. see more of these oil basins set Great, in let's the light the shit up, guys. Okay, yeah. light it up. So I light it up. You light it up, yeah. and it kind of spreads out, and it seems to go down this corridor a long ways and continues down around this, and again, it's, you do not see it come back yet. Ooh, so there's something stopping it from coming back. Well, it's um, I just a long time. Deep. Oh, it's, or it's, or it's taking a really long time. Yeah, good point. So we continue slowly. I'd like to look for more traps because mm -hmm. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Is it just one? Yeah, just do the one. Boom. It's a three. Ooh. You don't see any traps? I don't see any traps. <laughs> you don't see any traps? <laughs> Doesn't mean there aren't any. You're super, you're super confident. Yeah. I'm super confident. I'm going. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. As you stride on forward into the space, <laughs> The floor opens up and you make another dexterity saving throw to try and catch on. Oh no. <laughs> that happens to her a lot. It does. Really she like happens to her a lot. <laughs> 17 plus 7. 17 plus 7, sweet. So this time, as it happens, you recognize the feeling and your, you know, your stomach comes up into your throat, but as you fall, you're able to spin and you grab onto the edge, hanging onto the edge of this. As you kind of look down below you, you do see another pit. This one is deeper than the first. It is also spiked, and there is another body down there. Well, I'm just going to pull myself up real fast since All I'm right. so good at climbing. You so. are. You're so good at climbing. You just scramble yourself up and are able to push yourself back up onto safe ground. As she comes up at my feet, because I'm standing at the edge looking over, <laughs> you're like, you've got some bad luck there. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. All right, sorry guys. It's okay. <laughs> well now, um, what's happening here is I'm saving you all from dying. Um, <laughs> Thank you. We're multiple detecting times. For traps. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. I see your method is very effective. <laughs> you find all of the traps by setting them off. Right. Mm. It's a. It's one way to do it's it. A valid method. Should we do the ropey business we did before? How do you guys want to get over? Oh, is there, is, the... is there space on the well, sides? Yeah. This one is ten feet again. It's the same. There's no space on the sides. It, it does sort of you know completely leave you without anything. Again, five feet wide, the full length of the hallway, and 10 feet long. Well, Vero's jumped across last time. If Vero's can jump across, I definitely can jump across. Furthermore, 
I will wager I can jump across with this fine lady <gasps> in my arms. I would wow. even take the bet that I could jump with either of those two. Well, why don't you go? take the dwarf? You take Annabella, no. and then I can. No! Go. Dwarf? Oh, no, he's a gnome, he's a gnome, he's a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that. <laughs> I apologize. Thank you. I'd say we just pitch him. Why is he on the oh. back? I can throw him. I have a, I have a, I have a suggestion. <laughs> Liz, I like this idea. You could carry her and jump. Right, but Perhaps. I can I can go up the side. That's true. So right. that's easy for me. Maybe you could carry Annabella, and I could just ride on your back. I mean, certainly, but it'd be more fun for me to throw you this no. time. No, I, mean, I mean, it'd be great. No, I can definitely do it. I believe you. I'm worried about the thing after, <laughs> when I fall. <laughs> oh, fine. Just take duck. all the well, fun you can out catch, of it. You can, catch. Roll. you can catch. Just take me! <laughs> all right, all right. No problem. There. So okay. Ricky gets on Viros' back. The two sisters are going to embrace. Yeah, BFs. And hold each what other. That? Women. All right, who wants to go first? I'm going first. Okay. All right, so you can jump your speed. I'm gonna double check mm -hmm. how it So yes, if you if you move 10 feet first, you can jump your strength score in distance. Yeah. 18. 18, so you can jump 18 feet. Mm -hmm. However, holding her, it is gonna require a check. You can't okay. just do it. So All an right. athletics check, please. Ooh. Oh, nice. hey, 15 plus Part seven. Of inspiration, you. She doesn't even know. She did well. Okay. She's like, I didn't do it. I take it back. You don't need it. You're such a badass bitch. You don't need yeah. it. <laughs> so you hold her in your arms. You run back a few feet. Yeah, slap and just, both thighs. Ooh. Do a little like one of those like like yeah. cool, scrape the ground a little. Amazing. And then I just go BFFs, yo. Run across. <laughs> run across and you leap it and oh and and God. land on the other side and just like lay Annabella yeah. gracefully Set down on the ground. It's very romantic. Aww. Thanks, girl. <laughs> I got your back, yo. That was great. You want to roll for me? Virus? Oh, you want me to roll yeah. for you on your stuff? Okay, you got it. So, Ricky climbs up on your shoulder as he's holding on to your back. You go back as far as you can. Don't mess this up. You run forward, and just at the edge, your foot catches, and you slide forward. Both of you make dexterity saving oh, throws. No. Damn it, Viros. I got an 18, An 18. So, so Vera. Oh, no. Viros is able to save himself. As you fall forward, you had enough momentum that you could grab onto the far end, but as you fall and hit that side, the jolt of that knocks you back backwards, and you were unable to hold him as you start to fall to the ground. Anything you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to attempt You have six seconds as you fall. Oh, God. 